Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's that time of year, so here's the one you all want. My pick for best digital music distributor of 2021 is coming up next. Hey everybody, I'm Steve Freeman. Welcome back to another video. It's that time of year for those of you that have been around the channel for a while. Welcome back. This is the video you guys always look forward to at the end of the year. I think this is four years in a row now that we've done the best digital music distributor video. Um, we have talked about CD Baby, we've talked about TuneCore, we've talked about 1RPM. Lord knows we've talked about Ditto. If you haven't seen those videos, you can go back on the channel uh, and watch those, check those out. But one of the reasons that I do this video every year is because I believe it is super important whichever and whomever the partner is that you choose to distribute your music, I think it's very important. I've heard from so many of you over the last year, over the last two years, when we've talked about different music distributors, I've heard success stories from all of the different platforms. I've heard disaster and horror stories about every single platform out there. Guys, let me tell you, none of them are perfect. Absolutely none of them are perfect. Unless you're a major label artist signed to a major label deal that has a major distribu uh, distributor behind them, like a Warner Brothers or Sony or Universal, there's going to be problems. No one service is perfect. My pick for best digital music distributor of 2021 is based on the service that I used for many of my clients this whole last year. Now, we are fortunate enough, I have a deal with Universal. But I will be honest with you guys, even dealing with major label projects, it's not always smooth sailing. There are problems with Universal, there are problems with Sony, there are problems everywhere. What I wanted to try to do was highlight the one that I've used the most over the last year. For my clients, we have released 12 releases um, over the last 10 months through my pick for best digital music distributor of the year for 2021, and we had zero problems. Now, listen, I wanna be real careful when I say this. Just because I'm picking this specific distributor as my pick for the year for 2021, it doesn't mean they're perfect. It doesn't mean that everything goes smoothly all the time because it doesn't. Even saying that I've had zero problems this year, it doesn't mean that I won't have problems with the next release or I might not have a problem six months from now. What I'm basing my opinion on is the experience that I've had over the last year in releasing our clients' music out. Now, what I also want to tell you about music distribution, those of you that have seen the other videos know that I harp on this a lot. Your job as an artist, an independent artist, whatever you may be, singer, songwriter, it comes down and boils down to two things. You want to make sure your music is easy to find and available everywhere. Now, most of the distribution platforms do a pretty good job of this. I mean, especially if you're in the United States. I heard a lot from so many of you guys that are overseas, and I apologize. I just don't know that much about other markets outside of the United States. Canada, of course, UK, I'm very familiar with. Uh, South Africa, I'm very familiar with. But there are some other areas and pockets out there that I wasn't familiar with. Case in point, I'm producing an artist right now that lives in the United States, but is a Russian artist. So we had to make sure when we were releasing her music that it was available on all of the different platforms that were available in Russia. I was not familiar with that market. Luckily, our distributor is very familiar with that market and actually has offices and a staff in Moscow to deal with Russian artists' release and get it everywhere that it needs to be. So that being said, I want to tell you my, my pick. And it's unbiased. You may love somebody else and that's totally fine. I'm not saying they are the hands down best and you should go in nowhere else but here. I'm saying in my experience, having dealt with all of them, especially this year, this is my pick. And it may come as no surprise, but my pick is 1RPM.
Earlier this year, I had a chance to sit down with my friend and general manager of 1RPM here in Nashville, Ken Matson. Now, if you're not familiar with 1RPM, I highly suggest you go back, take a look at this podcast that I did uh, with Ken Matson. It was great. It was informative. He admitted some faults with 1RPM. He talked about why he thinks you should choose 1RPM. And I highly recommend that you go back and you take a look at that and you can find that right up here. I'll, I'll post a link to it right up here. And you can find that, go back and watch it for yourself. Now, let me tell you why I've chosen 1RPM as the best digital music distributor of 2021. I, like I said, I used them on, it was 10 or 12 projects over the last 10 months and we had zero issues. I found the interface to be very simple to use. Now I will tell you that when we talked about 1RPM last year, by the way, this is now my pick two years in a row. That ought to tell you something. I'm not discouraging or downplaying or bad talking any other distribution service out there except Ditto, which is trash, and I would stay away, run away from it. There are thousands of people out there that I've heard from that had similar experiences to mine. So other than Ditto, I'm not going to trash the other platforms. I'm not going to tell you, don't use CD Baby, don't use TuneCore, don't use Amuse, which did reach out to me and offer to pay me to make a video to make Amuse our uh, distributor of the year. I, of course, turned it down because I make my decisions based on what I use and how I find it and how functional it is and, and the limitation of problems that arise. So that being said, I'm not trashing any other platforms. I'm just simply saying that 1RPM is my choice based on my experience in dealing with them and using them for projects, uploading them. They were available in every store. They were available in a timely manner, which is one of the things that I think is so important. I can't tell you the number of times in dealing with other platforms that we would submit a release we would submit it in plenty of time, two weeks, three weeks in advance, a month in advance. And for whatever reason, at midnight uh, Eastern Standard Time, when it's supposed to go live, it wouldn't be there. And we're like, wait a minute, we've done all of this marketing. We've been helping all of our clients set up all of their marketing, planning on this thing going live, grabbing that link, being able to share it on social media. And it's not there. Out of 12 releases, over the course of this last 10 months. We've had zero issues with that. At uh, midnight Eastern Standard Time, I, I'm, in, I'm in Nashville, so the central time, it's, it's 11 o'clock on that Thursday night when we release on Fridays. It has always been there. And that is something that relieves stress I, because I can tell you, and I'm sure those of you that are watching this that have had this happen to you, it's very stressful. You've gone through all of the processes of, of work and worry and stress and getting this thing uploaded, making sure that, that you've got all of your marketing together. You're ready to share those links out. You're ready for people to start spinning it on, on Spotify or buying it on Apple Music. And you've done all this and it's not there. Some of you may have even gone in and, and batched your content and scheduled your releases on social media. So as soon as that thing's supposed to go live, you've sent this out to all these people saying, hey, go stream it now, go buy it now. And it's not there. That's very frustrating. So even at its base level, this was one of the things that impressed me most about 1RPM is that it was live exactly on the date and the time that we said we wanted it to be available. That is a very crucial piece of the process when selecting your digital music distributor. Also, the dashboard that you go through when uploading your music is very simple to me. I heard from some of you last year that you thought the process was difficult. I don't know why that is. I, I, I find it to be very simple to use. I, I'm, I'm not downplaying anybody or any struggles. I don't know if there might have been a language barrier or something like that, but I find their dashboard very easy to use. Uh, the third main reason that I like 1RPM are the marketing features that they give you. Once you have created your release and you've got it set uh, for distribution, you've selected all of the stores that you want it to go to, uh, they have a marketing section where you can, they will actually create artwork and links for you to share out on social media. This makes it very easy. I mean, if you're not a, a, a Photoshop pro or an Illustrator pro 
or you know how to put uh, graphics together for using on social media because Lord knows Facebook's a different size than Instagram. Instagram's different than Twitter. The lengths are all different. You can actually create uh, marketing uh, things right there within one RPM's dashboard to send to Twitter, to send to Instagram, to send to Facebook. They make it very simple for you. And that to me is very important. I'm choosing one RPM because I've dealt with them. I love their uh, their dashboard. Most importantly, they just consistently do what I've talked about for the last three, four years in a row. They make my music and my artists and my clients' music easy to find and available everywhere. Now, I do want to address one issue that people have talked about with one RPM. And this is a biz, uh, big misconception. Everybody says, well, they're based in, in Latin America. They specialize in Latin America. I will tell you, that is where the company started. And if you go back and you watch or listen to the Steve Freeman podcast episode with Ken Madsen from 1RPM, he talks about that. The founder of the company is from Latin America, and they have a lot of success in Latin America. They have staff and offices in almost every major developed country on the face of the planet. So yes, their origins are in Latin America, but that is not their focus. They are a worldwide distributor, just like any of the other distributors. One of the other things I do like as well is that 1RPM is a direct aggregate for iTunes, uh, for Spotify, for Google, Amazon. They're not a third-party aggregate. That is a big problem when it comes to companies like TuneCore, CD Baby, Amuse, some of these other places that you guys have sent me that I'm sorry, but I've just never heard of these distri distribution companies. Doesn't mean they can't get the job done. I just, I'm not aware of them. I, I, I focus on the major players. Um, so I, I've not, I've not had an issue whatsoever with, with one RPM, mainly because they are dealing directly with Apple. They're dealing directly with Spotify. They're not going through a third party. Uh, in some of these cases, what happens when you use some of these other services is they are just a distributor of a distributor. So when you upload your music to them, they then have to upload it somewhere else. Um, when you're dealing with one RPM, it goes directly from one RPM to Apple, to Spotify, to Google, to Tidal, to all of the other stores uh, and online music platforms uh, that they serve. The last point that I want to cover about one RPM and my positive experience is the most important part, the money. Um, some of you are out there and, and a lot of people have high expectations. You think, oh, I'm going to sell hundreds. I'm going to sell thousands. I'm going to sell millions. And I hope you do. I, I want that for everybody. I want you to fully realize your dreams. I want you to fully realize your expectations as long as they're realistic expectations. But those of you that have seen my videos about Ditto, this was where we had a huge problem. They never paid us. I have heard similar stories from other digital distributors, from many of you guys. Um, I won't go into naming every single one of those distributors because at some point over the last two years, I've received emails, DMs on social media, uh, it, it, any way that, that people can get a hold of me, I've heard from you guys and I've heard horror stories about uh, not getting paid. I just got an email last week from um, a gentleman overseas who has quite a substantial balance with TuneCore and TuneCore has frozen his account and refuses to pay that amount of money. And I'm, it's like $70,000. Guys, these are serious issues. This is why I do these videos. This is why I do the research because I want you guys dealing and doing business with reputable companies. I know the stress and the pressure that, that it takes to be an artist, that it takes to be a songwriter. I know the creative struggles that you go through with creating this amazing music and putting so much of your heart and soul and blood and sweat and tears into that when you finally get to the point where you get to put it out into the world and hopefully make some of that worth it, either by gaining fans and followers, building your audience, and even, yes, even today in the music business, it's still possible to make money. When you do that, you expect the person that you've partnered with to, to take your music out to the world. 
to at least be responsible enough to go, okay, you sold a thousand downloads, here's your $900 or here's your whatever it is. We're seeing a lot of these digital distribution companies get very greedy. And that's not good for an artist. It's not good for a songwriter. Over the last uh, 12 months on the releases we've put out and even the last two years because we used one RPM uh, significantly even last year, um, we never had any issues. Um, I also subscribe to SoundScan. So no matter which distributor that we've put out a, a project through, I always gauge what our distributor has said that we've sold versus what the sound scan says that we've sold. And with one RPM, it always matches. If we, I log into my one RPM dashboard, it says I've sold uh, 537 copies. I can look on sound scan and there it is, 537 copies. I cannot say that about other distributors that I've used in the past. Look, we are all scared of entering business relationships that aren't profitable, especially for our side of things, because that's how we're coming at it. And I understand it. So again, I think it's very, very, very important when you're picking your digital music distributor that you find one that is reputable, that has a history of treating artists properly. I, to this date, as of right now, I have not been treated any way other than professional with one RPM. I can't say that about some of the other distributors that we've talked about in the past. The last issue I wanna talk about as it relates to one RPM is how their system works. Um, again, Ken went into very much detail uh, talking about this, talking about their model, why they have made their model the way that they have. Uh, and you can go back and you can watch that again right up here, I'll put it up here again. But with TuneCore, with CD Baby, with all of these other uh, digital distribution companies, um, you pay a per single fee or per project fee or per year fee per project. Uh, one RPM doesn't do business that way. What they do is they charge a flat 10%. So it costs you absolutely nothing to get your music up and get your music out. What one RPM does is take 10% of that revenue. I've heard from a lot of you that don't like that. Uh, I can tell you if you ever get past the point where you are right now and you ever sign a real publishing deal or a real real record deal, you're going to lose a hell of a lot more than 10%. Um, I think for the services that 1RPM provides, 10% is nothing. I mean, guys, let's face it. Let's like, if you sell a download for a dollar, you're going to make 90 cents of that dollar. I think it's a perfect model. I, th I think it's great that you don't have to remember every year to pay another $29.99 or $49.99 or $5.99 just to make sure that your product is still available in all of the stores. I, I don't like that. It, it continually costs you money. And if you're a new artist launching your career, Wealth of content and catalog is the most important part of the process. You need to be able to continually release new music over and over and over and over again. And that can get costly with some of the other distributors. So I like the way that 1RPM uh, does things. I like that they just take a flat 10% of your sales. Um, I think it makes sense. You can go on there today, You know, it, no money out of pocket whatsoever, and have your single distributed. If you sell a thousand copies, you're gonna make 90% of that. If you go to any regular major distribution deal, if you go to Sony, Warner Brothers, Universal, you'll never get a 90-10 split. Most of the time they take 30% and sometimes even more than that. I've seen 50% deals. So 10% is not a big deal. There's a lot of you that got hung up on that last year with, well, I can't believe they, they, they're, taking, they're taking ownership. That's another big misconception. Just because they are sharing in the revenue does not mean they are taking copyright ownership or anything like that of your music. I hear that from a lot of people that, well, I, I read the one RPM contract and, and they're, they're, they're owning my music when I know they do not. You're giving them permission to distribute your masters. They are not taking any ownership whatsoever. They are not participating in the ownership of the copyright of your songs, in the ownership of the masters of your songs, nothing. You are simply giving them permission to distribute your music. They have to have that permission. 
One RPM makes it a part of their contract that's very easy to read. If you go in and you look at CD Baby, TuneCore, Amuse, any of these other ones out there, they all have similar verbiage. It's just in very small print that most of you, let's face it, and no offense, you don't take the time to read the small print. With one RPM, it's a little bit easier to find, so people find it and, and they kind of get stuck in your tracks. Now, I will say this, good for you. I am proud of you guys for going in and reading uh, the contract and actually seeing what it has to say. That tells me you're smart. That tells me you know what you're doing. So when I get an email, even if it's a misconception about any one of these platforms, it makes me very proud to know that you guys are doing your due diligence. You're getting out there. You're reading the small print. You're reading the fine print. You know exactly what it is that you're getting into. But I want to settle that here right now and hopefully prevent you guys from thinking this in the future or somebody that may uh, try one RPM and and then want to send a message later, which is fine. You can always contact me if you've got questions. But listen, 1RPM does not participate in the copyright ownership or the master's ownership of your work. It is simply not there. That is not what that verbiage means. You are giving them permission to distribute your music. They have to have that in order to give it to Apple and to give it to Google and to give it to Amazon. You retain 100% of your ownership of your master's and your copyrights of the songs. So once again, let me say our pick, my pick, for best digital music distributor of 2021 is 1RPM. And again, just to recap, that is based on my experience using them with my client's music exclusively for the last year. And I'll tell you, like I said, we've got to deal with Universal. Uh, we have some major label clients that I work with that I produce, and we've used our distribution deal with uh, Universal for those major projects. But I have to be honest with you, one of the reasons that made 1RPM a no-brainer for me was it went just as smooth for our independent clients as it did using Universal and our major clients. That's what I think everybody's looking for. If you're watching this video, it doesn't matter if you are an independent artist, if you're a singer-songwriter, no matter where you are, that's you expect those things to be the same. It, the, the, the music distribution process and the technology that we live in today that's available should be no different or, or anything less for you than it should be for Justin Bieber. Again, if you come back to the two core fundamentals that I believe in, which is make your music easy to find, and available everywhere. Those are the two most important things. What I like about 1RPM is that they cover those two things and they cover it very well. And there's no upfront cost for you as the songwriter or the artist to get as much catalog out into the public as you possibly can, because that's what it takes to grow your numbers. That's what it takes to grow an audience and build a fan base. You've got to have that music out there. I honestly believe that 1RPM is a great music distribution partner. And that's really what excites me about them is it's not just, a, you're not just another number like you are at CD Baby or TuneCore or one of these other places. 1RPM is more of a digital music distribution partner. They are partnering with you and your music. And I think that relationship means just a little bit more than just being another number on another distribution platform uploading another song. One of the things that shocked me during my interview with Ken was that back then, and this was, I think that was seven months ago, eight months ago now, even before the pandemic possibly, or right at the beginning, was that there are worldwide, there are 500,000 songs released every week around the world. It's getting harder and harder to stand out with your music. We, we just saw the other day, Spotify is coming out with this new plan, this new promotion where they're going to independent artists and they're offering to feature their music on the platform if they will accept a lower royalty rate. That ain't good, in my opinion. So as all these people are releasing all this music on all these different social media platforms and distribution platforms, I think it's important that you have a partner, not just somebody you're paying to distribute your music. That's why I choose 1RPM. Yes, let me run down a quick checklist real quick. Uh, if you upload your music through 1RPM, is it available on Facebook? Yes. Is it available on TikTok? Yes. Is it available on all social media platforms? Yes. Is it available on Instagram? Yes. Is it available in every major music store that is online? 
yes. Now, I've run into a couple of situations where people wanted to know if it was available here, 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 and I just wasn't sure. I've done research. I've asked the people at 1RPM. They've gotten right back to me, and I responded to those people. So if you have any questions whatsoever, uh, hit me up. Uh, shoot me a DM on Instagram. That's where I live the most, and I can respond right back to you. Uh, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'm happy to answer any questions and help you guys make a decision, because this is a major decision. Who you choose to trust your music with, as we learned uh, <laughs> two years ago with our, our experience with Ditto, is very important. It's crucial to the success of your career. That's why I take this so seriously. And that's why I'm choosing one RPM as my 2021 best digital music distributor. I know some of you guys aren't going to agree. I know some of you guys are going to trash it in the comments and go, here's why you shouldn't. And that's totally fine. What I want to say is that this is based on my experience. I'm not saying that one RPM is the best digital music dis uh, distributor ever. I'm not saying that. I'm saying based on my experience and using them the way that I've used them for the last 10 months and even the previous six months of the last year, this is my decision. And I'm going with 1RPM for a reason. We work with large artists. We work with independent artists. We work with very successful independent artists. And I choose 1RPM. And there's a reason for that. I hope you've gotten some of those reasons in this video. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to uh, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I know I have not been making videos regularly. Uh, that is changing. I, I was not expecting the podcast to explode the way that it has. And if you haven't checked out my podcast, the Steve Freeman Podcast, it's available every Monday and Friday everywhere. Apple Podcast, iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcast, Amazon MP3, Audible, Stitcher, anywhere and everywhere you get your podcast. Um, it has grown so much. We've got five over 500,000 uh, listeners per month now. So that kind of took my focus off of YouTube. But one of my main focuses coming into 2021 is getting back and really creating the videos that you guys tell me that you like. And I wanted to kick it all back off with this video, the best digital music distributor of 2021. So don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Follow me on social media everywhere at the Steve Freeman, and I will see you in the next one.